What's up guys, I hope everyone is having a good holiday season. With everything going on, I know money is tight for a lot of people, which is why I want to introduce today's sponsor, Opinion Outpost. Opinion Outpost is a very easy way to make extra money for, well, having an opinion. Whether you're up late at night and can't sleep, or watching Netflix, you can start taking advantage of this awesome platform and earn extra cash to help get through this holiday season. I've personally spent time filling out surveys and being rewarded with cash for doing so. And what's great is how easy it is to cash out into your PayPal or gift cards you can use to buy extra stuff this month. Don't waste your day job money. Use Opinion Outpost by simply clicking on the link in the description. And thanks again to them for the sponsor. All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome to yet another Lee Sin video. We are back playing some full crit Lee in season 11. Crit Lee has always been one of my favorite things to do, and I've not yet tried it with the new crit items. I'm actually really excited because there's some interesting items that I think will work well with Lee. Um, our full build path is uh, likely going to be Immortal Shield Bow first because I really like the uh, combat stats on Immortal Shield Bow. Um, and then from there, we're going to go into Navori Click Quick Blade. Uh, because that gives us, um, it actually gives us a lot of ability haste, which we need. And it also reduces cooldowns when we crit. So it's a, it's a pretty good item on Lee, if we're going to be going the full crit route. Um, my runes, we got Hail of Blades. You can see it down here. Hail of Blades is the only thing that's, like, awkward. Um, but I think it'll work well with, uh, with the crit build, since we're going to be auto attack focused. Um, and then, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so Crit Lee Sin, I, like I said, never tried it. Um, I think it'll be pretty good because of the combat stats that you can get um, on the crit items this season. And also uh, because you don't have to build a jungle item anymore. So you're going to get right into it. And I'm going to be maxing W. I know that sounds weird. But maxing W when you're going Crit Lee Sin is actually not terrible. So that's what we're going to be doing. So that is Crit Lee Sin. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's fucking go. I'm against Olaf. Olaf is not my preferred matchup. But honestly, I feel like with Crit Lee Sin, it won't be as bad. Especially because I'm going to be maxing W. I should be able to actually win trades. Uh, or win all-ins early. I don't know if he has vision of me. Let's do this. There we go. I can probably force this, actually. I have cast, so it should be fine. Yeah. Nice, I got them all. Haha! <laughs> Let's go, fuck you, Olaf. We caught up in CS to Olaf, and we got the first blood kill. And we didn't have to burn any subs. We are good to go this game, my friends. And that's level... F oh, no, I'm not level 4 yet. We might be able to dive this. Ward's like full health. There it is. Bang. Good dive. I'm glad Mordecai's are new to tank. A lot of the times people expect me to tank that, but it's actually better if they tank. Because I can do a lot of damage under tower. Let's get one plate. Okay, or force a TP. That's perfectly fine. I got a lesser go back. We got a really nice first back here. Okay, so I love this item specifically on Lee early. Uh, this Noon Quiver. It gives 30 AD, which is obviously good. 15% attack speed, which is really low-key good on Lee Sin early game specifically. And then uh, attacks deal an additional 20 physical damage to minions and monsters, which is basically what Hunter's Machete did, which is what we miss so much on Lee because of the jungle item changes. So I think um, this item is actually really good to rush for many reasons. Makes you clear much faster than any other item, I think, early. Tiamat is good too, but I think this is even better. Alright, bot lane's shitting on them. 
Oh, I guess they died. All right, that's fine. I'm, I'm gonna sneak a dragon here. So when you go W Max Lee, you can actually dragon without taking any damage. It's pretty cool. So check this out. As long as we don't get spotted, I'm gonna put a pink ward down. As long as they don't spot us. We just saw this. We don't even need smite. The extra point in W just makes you so durable. I mean, you can do it even with one point, but with two points, you literally just don't take damage. And we're level five. All right. Okay. No, you're supposed to bait that. You're supposed to bait that. No! We went for the Chinese word hop. Oh, man. If that Q lands, though, it would have been... Pretty nice. Oh, I can still Q smite him. There we go. There's the Q smite. Watch this. This guy thinks he can kill me, right? He can't. Well, I guess he... Oh, yeah, he does. Can't kill me, dude. W Max Lee is so good. If that was Q Max, I probably, probably actually would have died. It would have been close. It would have been close. That extra damage may have got me the kill, but... Okay, this is a huge jungle diff. I just got level 6, too. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, he wins that. Never mind. <laughs> Why not? Alright, I've got all my team's kills, so I gotta be very, very active early. But I wanna grab some camps. I've just been spam ganking. I haven't really gotten any camps in a while. Okay, there's my red smite. Uh oh. I feel like our mid laner is getting trashed. Probably because I'm getting all the kills mid. Alright, so four points into W. Like I said, we're auto attack based. Maybe not as much early, but once we get like two items, most of our damage is going to come from our autos. And of course our ultimate, just because our ult scales with so much AD. But, alright. So if I sell these, I can actually just get an immortal shield boost straight up. I won't be able to get my boots, but that's alright. Alright, one item power spike. Let's go. We got the Immortal Shield Bow at 8 minutes. That is really fucking quick. I don't think I've ever gotten a Mythic item that fast this season. <sighs> Alright. Let's grab red. And then let's gank bot. My ult should be up by the time I get there. Yep, I know, I know. I'm coming. I'm just very slow because I have no boots. Oh, how do they know? I guess we can just engage anyways. Nice. That was a really good pike. Really good pike play. Morgana should have probably shielded her and not Morgana not herself, but Oh my god, that TP was legendary, though. It got Cassio the double. Damn. Killed both of them. And here I thought he was getting owned. Alright, where would an Olaf be? He, well, he's not going to path this way, I guess. Since he doesn't have any camps down here. Wow. Yeah, he's going to path topside. So we're going to go for the... Holy shit, we burst him hard there. The fuck? Like, just from our hail of blades, we almost got it a half health. Alright, we 
might run into an Olaf running this way, but... I just want to get these and then get out. Alright, let's get out. Okay, let's skedaddle. Alright, so we want to get this item next. I think it's really good. Um, I'm going to grab some crit. One of these, one of these. I want the crit first, just because we're going crit Lee. We're up to 35%. We get 20% off shield bow. We'll get another 20% off quick blade. And then after that, it's pretty much whatever we want. I mean, we can go probably Phantom Dancer or Rapid Fire. Or even the Collector would be pretty nice. But I'll probably go, I'll probably end up going Phantom Dancer for the survivability. All right, he's got alt advantage, but I've got three item advantage. Oh my god. Yeah, he can't even kind of touch me. Got four points in W. Let's go. Ah, Damn, that lasts a while, eh? Alright, this game's looking pretty clean. I'm 9 and 0 somehow. I really like Shield Bow. I think this item is pretty fun. Like, I stayed alive so long with the W Max, and then the extra shield from this was nice. Oh, I guess I can't get Phantom Dancer, because I have Shield Bow. It's one or the other. I forgot. Alright, how close are we to Quick Blade? Wait, get off my screen. 1700? Alright, that's not bad. We'll get there soon. We don't get that much attack speed with this, uh, with these two items, but I just think it's, I just think this item is, uh, too good to pass on. Ability Haste and Reducing cooldowns when you crit, so good. I'm gonna leave Yorick alone. He's he's suffered too much abuse this game. Cut him cut him a break. Not up. Well, I guess I really can't do anything except farm or go top right now because I don't have ult. Can't really kill Yasuo without ult. Oh! You guys see that? That was actually kind of clean. I'll hand that to Yasuo. That was clean. Alright, this guy's too free to pass on. guy's sitting in tower. <laughs> Thing is, I do have all the kills for the most part. This is losable if I if I don't push the advantage. For sure, for sure losable. How close are we to Navari Quick Blade? Quick Blades. Okay, 350 gold. Nice. Get her off this. One more camp. Olaf might come here. I want this camp. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I didn't expect Yasuo to be there, too. I should have just backed off. That's called greed, my friends. Fuck. Can someone get, like, a tower or something? Like, get Baw Tower, maybe? I really want to get my Quick Blade. And I don't feel like waiting for 75 gold. Uh-oh. What's going on, Bot? I gave a huge shutdown to them. That was probably stupid of me. Alright, are we waiting 40 gold? 50 gold? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to wait. By the time I spawn, it'll only be 40 gold. 
45 or 35 gold. We're waiting. We are waiting. I honestly just wanted to see how long I could survive in that 1v1, but then Yasuo came and just kind of ruined it. My oh, holy shit, this guy's huge. Our fucking Mordekaiser's massive, I didn't realize it. I give the shutdown to Olaf. It's a gold reset. He was worthless. <clears throat> Alright, well we've got our core build. Let's see what we can do with it. This is where I become strong. So I get the ability haste too, which I need. Bang. Where, oh, where would I be if I was a Yorick? I guess he recalled. I'm gonna go take this. Once I get level 11, it should be like really cool. I should kill Olaf instantly. I want to see what I can do here. Thing is, I don't want to have to use my W to ward hop because it kind of ruins my survivability. Well, that's fine, I guess. Miss the Q, bro. Uh, I'm so mad about that. I could have gotten a double there, real clean. Oh, uh, I would have taken that. I was not letting her get away, dude. No way. Dude, we fucking slapped her, man. Absolutely slapped her. Let's try. Right, I guess we just go dragon since they're sitting under tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Wait. Three dragons? Okay. Oh, dude, Ocean Soul would be great. I'll have so much sustain with my W and my shield bow. Wait, I want to fight this guy. Oh, wait, there's a Morgana roaming. Oh, she went the wrong way. Oh my god, I crit. I crit. Quick blade, don't fail me now. Oh wow. That ignite fucked me. I couldn't heal enough. Oh! Nice try. Alright, we're gonna get. Let's see. Do they have a lot of CC? I mean, they have the Morgue Q. That's pretty much it. Not really worth buying CC reduction. I'm gonna go Berserker Greaves, I think. Or, actually, you know what? Hmm. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go Plated Steel Caps just so we can survive. The Yasuo, because, like, even though I'm full crit, like, I will get melted, especially when I have Ignite on me. Alright, crit items, what's next? We could go this. Um, Moral Reminder, they have a lot of healing, not really. This builds into, yeah, let's just do this, fuck it. We'll go Rapid Fire Cannon, and then we'll build something uh, situational. Maybe, like, a, I don't know. Something with crit, but like, something with executioners would be good, I guess. Because they don't have a ton of healing, but they have a little bit. It would be worth it. Uh, I wanted to W to him. This is where Fulcritly actually becomes difficult, though, once they start getting items. Dude, holy fuck. That Q is enough CC for a whole team. My god. Lasted forever. I want a 1v1 Olaf. 
It's it's not that fair because he's low level, but oh come on. Yeah, fuck off, Yorick. Fuck off, Yorick. I'm trying to go for a 1v1 over here. You're ruining it. I still fucking killed him, too. Damn. Yorick is strong, bro. What was he doing this whole game to be that strong? Oh, he's gonna get kited here. E, 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 bro, you heal! Okay, I don't know why I didn't E. That's fine. Alright, I almost survived that. Does he have... Did I get ignited? Like, no, no one had Grievous Wounds there. Yorick just does a lot of damage. Holy shit. I also had, don't have any MR, and I guess he does a lot of magic damage. Didn't realize that. Let's see. Oh, it was his Maiden that was doing all that. I forgot how strong Maiden is. I should have focused it, honestly. He's, like, impossible to kill when Maiden's up. He's also level 14, so he's, like, the one person on their team I can't 1v1. Maybe I could 1v1, but not 2v1. I didn't want to waste kick for him. We got Dragon Soul in 40 seconds, so. Oh shit! Yorick again, dude. Bro, I swear to god, I waited. To kick flashy Olaf for right when Morgana's uh, Zonia's ended, but apparently I did it a second too early. I'm really sad about that because that would have not have been clean. I probably would have been able to kill them both if I did that properly. Oh well, dude, Yorick is a problem though. I don't really know why. That also does a lot of damage. It's alright. We have our core build now. Three items is pretty much core build. We got 60% crit. Uh, we got 1.4 attack speed, but like once we get uh, our W going, we'll be attacking even faster than that. And we got Ocean Soul, so we really can't lose at this point. Beautiful. That's GG, boys. But Yorick thinks he's going to be the hero of this game, I can tell. Now that I got Ocean Soul, though, this man's not going to fucking kill me. Oh my god, that kick. Oh my god, that kick. Uh, is he faster than me? He might be. I don't want to ward up till I know which way he went. It's this way. <laughs> You're not getting away, buddy. Let's go, dude. I didn't Q because I knew he probably had Wind Wall up. There was no reason to Q. I, I went for the E. So, like, something I do against Yasuo players is I I fake the, the Q when I know they have Wind Wall, and I hit E. Because sometimes when they see you move, like your animation, they'll think it's a Q. But he didn't buy it that time, unfortunately. Didn't bite. I almost smited that too early. Alright. I'm gonna grab my camps. Reset. I don't know which crit I'm gonna go. I mean, we could just go IE. I, I, w I was gonna build IE earlier, but... I, I wanted the attack suite. Yeah, fuck. We'll go IE. Why not? I want the crit, so I'm gonna get that plus pickaxe. I think it's a better... 15% crit, we're up to 75, so now every time we crit, like I said, it reduces our cooldown. So, like, if we get three crits in a row, we could W, like, t on top before my shield even ends. Could have another W on me. 
Theoretically, we got good crits. Oh, we crit pretty hard there. Can I get a ward or something? Two, one. Damn. Ah! Come back here. Fight me. Why is Yorick not recalling? What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Did ah. Uh... Get him. Nice. Worth. GG boys, that is full crit lee. Definitely a good time. I think uh, the notable advantages to Crit Lee in Season 11 is that you do have some really good combat stats. You can build it earlier because you don't have a jungle item, and you can stay alive a lot easier than you used to because a lot of the items now give you some form of sustain, like uh, Shield Bow, for example. So I think all around Crit Lee is more viable. It's not quite as troll because you, you don't see those crazy crit numbers coming up. Um, but I really had a good time with that, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I'm going to be back making some interesting videos in the near future. Hopefully next week I'm going to upload something a little different, something like my old style. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And once again, thanks to Opinion Outpost for the sponsor. Go check them out. Use the link in the description. It really can't hurt. And uh, yeah, till next time, boys. Peace.